In this video, I'm going to show you a one hot route play that will absolutely obliterate man and zone coverages. Really, really good against the meta dollar defense. Um, it's actually really good against cover two. And it comes to us out of the New Orleans playbook when we take a look at the play PA shot seams. Now, if you're watching this video and you want to get access to my full uh, New Orleans tight offset tight end offensive ebook, make sure that you join our Patreon. It's only $10 to sign up. We break down the tight offset tight end in a ton of detail. So if you want to sign up for the Patreon, uh, the link to do so is in the description. Like I said, it's only 10 bucks. You're going to get access to everything, all ebooks, all updates, including this tight offset tight end. Let's play PA shot seems has been a great play man for years. And the setup we're going to talk to you about today is a quick snap setup. Tight offset tight end is a formation that is really good for quick snapping your opponent. So what you're going to do is you're going to come out and you are going to do one of two things. It's up to you. You can either drag this left side receiver or you can put him on a slant. Normally, I'm going to put him on a slant, but you can put him on a drag if you want to. If you're if you're thinking that it's probably more zone, then I would recommend putting him on a drag. If you think it's man, definitely want to put him on a slant. That's it. Snap the ball super fast, and let's go and let's make a read. Now, the best route on the play is this route to number nine. By far, best route on the play. And uh, the way you want to throw this is you want to free form over the top and to the sideline. Boom. Really good read. If you have the short end elite ability, that is going to be super, super, super open. Now, even though we don't have short and elite, because Christian Watson is massive, we can high ball and freeform this and it will put hit the ball where only our receiver can catch the ball. And a lot of times you'll get that over shoulder catch or maybe something like that happens where you don't actually catch the ball. But the bottom line is it's really hard for your opponent to pick this off. As you can see, the consistency is really, really valuable. Now, this is a match killer, by the way. Um, if it is match, they're gonna almost always dumb out the match coverage, and that route is gonna be open as well. So it's good against man, good against match. Um, and really the best thing that your opponent can do is run zone, but if your opponent runs, um, if your opponent runs zone, let me show you what kind of happens. So let's say that your opponent is going to run zone on you. Then we want to try to attack the seams as best as we can. So you see here, we're going to try to throw that, throw that to Mr. Tumnus, Mr. Tunyon, over the middle of the field if he's there for us against zone. But another thing that I want to show you that you can do um, against zone coverage is this animation or this throw over here on the right where we can kind of throw this ball to Lazard in the seam. But really the main thing, again, is that tight end. The tight end is really the beat. The, the be all end all of this play. It doesn't matter if they're in cover three to the left or cover three to the right. Uh, your tight end is going to be open over the middle. So we're just going to basically high ball up into the seam. I'm not free form. I'm just high balling it. And you see that the safety is not going to be able to get over there. So now they're going to be in a position where they have to run cover four. So um, if they want to run, uh, well, let me show you cover two real quick, actually. So if they do run cover two, uh, you're going to see same basic thing. The seams are going to be wide open. Uh, the other thing that you're going to see if they run cover two is this guy on the right side is going to be open. And chances are Watson can actually still attack this cover two. Again, same kind of pass lead trajectory that we were doing with the man coverage. You want to high ball this and free form it up and outside. Um, that is going to be super, super helpful uh, for attacking the defense. So again here... Just set up our, a basic little cover to slant this backside receiver. And you'll see once he turns the corner, he's even, he's leaving, and we can't catch the ball, but he's wide open down the field, okay? And what I have noticed, you know, with this is if he has, like, significant separation like he's getting currently, then you don't have to freeform it. You can just high ball up and outside, and you're going to be fine, okay? So kind of use your judgment based on the leverage that you have. Um, you know, but I love this throw right here. I think this is one of the best throws if he could catch the ball. Um, but since he can't, I'll just not freeform. Um, this is why I hate freeform because it is the most inconsistent thing I've ever seen um, in Madden. In fact, this Madden by and large is the most inconsistent Madden I've ever played. But um, anyways, um, what you're going to see here is high ball. There we go. He finally catches it without the freeform and you see it's open. Okay, so cover two, cooked. Um, the tight end is also going to be wide open running down the middle of the field. 
Now, what if they run cover four? If they run cover four, um, what you want to do, especially if it's base line and pressed, is if you can have your tight, if you can have your back to the to the short side, the ball on the right hash, basically. Um, this can bomb it. It does have potential. See here, same basic thing. That corner route just cooks, man. You see that it just gets in that soft spot, that sweet spot, and it just it just nukes everything. Um, it's super hard to guard this corner route. Um, really, the best way to guard it, honestly, is to play cover three uh, to the outside. The problem, though, is that's going to leave our slant, and we have basically a high-low in the middle. Do you want to guard my slant, or do you want to guard my tight end? And that's basically what we're asking the user. That's the question that we're asking the user in this situation. Um, otherwise, if it's man coverage, um, another thing you could do is you can you can ag um, you could ag with this wheel route. Um, you know we know by now that ags are super super glitchy. Um, you know throw up an ag. You got big receivers on the Packers. Apparently Randall Cobb has pick artists on the slot receiver position. Um, you know throw up an ag. And this this route, you know this is a good formation to ag out of to be honest. Um, it really is. So, but you really shouldn't have any trouble. Like your slant's going to beat man to the inside, and then you have this corner route um, as well. So you should be pretty fine if they run man. Um, but really, you are calling this more so if they're in zone. And really, what we're looking for, um, whether it be man or zone, is this really good corner route to the left side. We're going to try to isolate it and take full advantage of it. Now, if you're to the short side of the field, like let's say we are on this hash mark and the corner route is running to the short side of the field then what you're going to notice is if they're in a baseline and press cover four um, it's not going to be as effective you still can hit it but it's just a little bit of a different throw um, i had to basically pass lead it up and inside to try to get it away from the defender so you know you kind of can use your own judgment on this this corner route is a one of the best, it's probably one of the most powerful routes in the game this year yet again. And if you can master the pass lead of it and when and where to throw it, it can become probably a top two or three route for you uh, in your offense. So uh, this play is super, super good, super effective year over year. It's one of the best plays in the game yet again. Um, if you get cover two, it, it should be a touchdown. If you get cover two, it should be a touchdown. And then if you get cover three, please hit the seam right there um, to your tight end, one of the best routes in the game. Thank you for watching the video. If you want to get my entire New Orleans tight offset tight end offensive ebook, make sure that you join. Um, make sure that you join the Patreon. It's only ten dollars to become a member of the Patreon. And like I said in the beginning, you're going to get access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks as well as all of our updates to those ebooks and any new ebooks that we release while you are a member. So if you want to sign up for that, the link is down in the description. It's only 10 bucks to sign up. And like I said, if you want to sign up for it, head down to the description below and click the link down below.